Spiritual direction. It's a weird term. It's, it doesn't sound quite right. Spiritual director, that's even more confusing. What is spiritual direction? What's a spiritual director? So spiritual director is someone who tells you what to do, you know, like a director in a movie, do this, say your line over, do it that way. Some people are uncomfortable with the concept of spiritual director or spiritual direction. So today they talk about spiritual companionship because it doesn't sound as top down as authoritarian. But spiritual companion, I, I'm not sure what a companion is. What does that mean? Is a companion your plus one to take to a wedding? Or is a companion someone who goes to the movie with you when none of your good friends want to go, so you don't have to go alone? You know, my companion here. I think the terms are less helpful than they are helpful. So I want to talk today about what spiritual direction really means. Spiritual direction is a practice of working with somebody who is known for having an understanding of spirituality and spiritual practice and understands how to integrate spirituality and spiritual practice with the rest of life. They, working with a spiritual director is working with someone who can help you grow, who can help you integrate further and become the person you really can be. It's really about you. And the work of spiritual direction or the work that a spiritual director does is first of all to listen, to hear you, and to reflect with you, to discern with you, and ask questions that will help you delve into your experience more deeply, to give you an opportunity to reflect in different ways about what's happening for you in relationship to spirituality and spiritual practice with the rest of your life, so that you can put it together. Spiritual direction is not something new. The word has been around for maybe a hundred years or so, but the concept goes back through every great religious and spiritual tradition. Within the Judeo-Christian tradition, there were rabbis who gravitated, uh, who called people together, who people sought out, who not only were teachers of, of, of texts, but were known for their wisdom and exemplary life. Within early Christianity, there were those people who were known as fathers and mothers, Abba and Emma, people who people sought out, those who people sought out because of their quality of Christian life and prayer. They wanted to understand what this new way of life meant for them. In Native American traditions and other indigenous traditions, that spiritual direction kind of figure may have been the person that helped you seek out a vision for your life. Or in Buddhism, it may be the teacher who helps you to learn how to pray and understand texts and, and to really walk the eightfold path. So there are different traditions around this, but today we refer to it all as spiritual direction. Spiritual direction is different from counseling or therapy. People think it looks alike because, you know, it's sitting down and talking with someone, just the way you would talk with a counselor. But the focus is very, very different. In counseling or therapy, the focus is on solving a problem. You go to see a counselor because maybe you're feeling depressed or you have a problem with a relationship that you can't solve on your own. And so you meet with a counselor or with a therapist and they set some goals and and you have a plan and you work with the counselor to meet those goals. And when you've solved the problem, then therapy is done. But spiritual direction isn't about a problem. It's about your growth. It's about your integration and about your wholeness. And it's related to how spirituality fits in with the rest of your life. In spiritual direction, you maybe see a spiritual director every month or six weeks or even every two months. And, and you do that as long as, as it feels like you can, are continuing to grow or you understand your growth. I have another video called Your Spiritual Direction that explains how spiritual direction is really about you and your growth and what that really looks like. One of the ways I understand the process of growth and spiritual direction 
is out of my own experience of a house plant in my home. I have a house plant in the guest room, and I don't really use the guest room very often, but I have a, a plant there. And because I don't go in the room often, it often grows in a lopsided way. I don't turn it enough, so it grows out of balance. It grows, but it's leaning towards the window where the light comes in. If I would turn it more, it would grow like my other house plants and, and be more balanced. The same is true for us with spirituality. Working with a spiritual director will help assure that we work in a balanced way, that we're growing in a balanced way. Left on our own, yes, we'll grow, but we'll grow towards the things that are easiest for us. And we may not think more critically about how we can grow further. And that's what a spiritual director helps you do. Spiritual directors work from different perspectives. Some are entirely related to one religion. Others are more broad in their perspective and have experience and background to be able to work from multiple perspectives. So it's really important that before choosing a spiritual director, you find out what their orientation really is and whether it's right for you. Finding a, an appropriate spiritual director can be a bit of a challenge. That's because there's no standard credential for spiritual direction. There are spiritual direction training programs today, but I've seen training programs that were no more than three sessions online for about two hours each session versus at the other end of the spectrum, programs that lasted two or three years. Most of them are somewhere in between. I think what's important is to find someone who went through a program that provided a background in spiritual literature a background in spiritual practice, as well as provided opportunities for supervised spiritual direction practice, so that they were in sort of an internship where they worked with the more experienced spiritual director as they started to work with new people. The program I went to is very, very different from most programs. It was an academic program that lasted two years. It was a master's degree of 48 credits. We studied spiritual texts and spiritual practices. Uh, we also studied a lot of psychology. We had a practicum experience working with individuals as well as another practicum exp experience working with groups. There are very few programs like that. But it was out of that experience in my continued study that I've been able to become familiar with a great variety of, of uh, spiritual and religious traditions and really try to work from that. I think having a spiritual director is just as important as having a trainer when you first start going to a gym. When you first go to a gym, you may know that you want to develop muscle or uh, you know, do some cardio, but you need someone to really help you understand what will work right for you. To that end, a trainer will help you and orient you and make sure that you, you do the things that you need to do in a proper balance. A spiritual director does the same thing for you, but it does so from a spiritual perspective. So I really encourage, if you're serious about your spiritual growth and integrating spirituality in the rest of your life, to work for a while at least with a spiritual director. Some people have spiritual directors at different times in their life, especially in times of transition when things are changing for them. And others uh, do it just once in their life for maybe a couple years. But consider this as a practice that will really enhance your well-being. If you have questions about spiritual direction, please include them in the comments. I want to be helpful to you and be a positive resource towards your growth and your wholeness and spirituality. Like the channel, subscribe, like the video, share the video, ring the bell, and know that I really appreciate that you take time to share these videos and to be with me for a few minutes. Have a great day.